안녕하세요 여러분 저 이름은 마로린 마미입니다 Just kidding, it's me, bitches 
So on the right side, I'm gonna be using the Shade and Lights Kat Von D palette. Going with the middle one, the one that I always use. Um, I'm just gonna dab the contour on. I've really been liking this method versus like the swiping motion because I feel like it's more effortless. Just a little on my jawline and into my ear. I'm gonna take my MAC Cosmetics Skin Finisher and Give Me Sun. And then take the BH Studio Pro Brush. Do the same thing I did with the contour. That one on my forehead. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush Palette. Go into these two colors. Put that on. On the left side, I'm gonna be using Etude House. It's a Korean company and my friend got me this and it's so cute. I love Tabasco and she knows that, so that's probably why she got it for me. I feel pretty heavy with the blush, so I'm gonna just keep adding until I feel like it's the right amount. I'm gonna use my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and just go ahead and clean up my brows because I feel like if I clean them up, they might look a little bit more straight. Go back into the brow. Taking a few tries to get it right. It's starting to not look like me. I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my lids. If you're a Korean from Korea, could you tell me if I did an okay job after I'm done with this? Cause I just wanna see if y'all would rock this look. I think I kinda wanna amplify this blush a little bit. I'm gonna take a MAC eyeshadow pot in Wedge. <laughs> Start contouring my nose. You know, us Americans, we are really into our nose contouring. It's gonna lightly do it on this side. I'm gonna also use the Etude House blush slash eyeshadow. Put that on there too. On this eye, I'm gonna go ahead and use the dual blending cushion shadow from a company called Misha, it's a cream brand. One side it's like this with this lighter color and then on the other side it's like this, the darker end. Basically eyeshadow on a stick. So I'm gonna go in on this side and just kind of go all over the lid. I like to go like underneath. I'm gonna use the Lorac Unzipped Palette. Hopefully this will give us a little bit better color payoff. I'm gonna just take a pencil brush and go into like the lightest shade with the rose gold. Now I'm gonna take the darker end and just do it along my lash line. And then a little on the bottom. So I'm gonna go into New Beach from the Balm Cosmetics and go into the color Brazen, which is the chocolate brown color. Go on the lash line very, very lightly and then pull it out straight. Instead of going in an upward motion, I'm really just going along my lash line. And then same thing on the outer third of the eye and then pulling that out. With the shadow brush, I'm gonna go into the color Buff, which is like a coral pinky color. Brush that on. Put a little bit more dimension on my eye. I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and go ahead and line up my eyes. It's so thin that you can barely even tell that I have liner on, which is what you want. Take brazen again, a little bit of bold, and just smudge that out. I'm gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus and then go into Undercover and Unreal in the Unzipped palette. I'm gonna go in with the Beach Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray palette that they sent over, and it's pretty cool. I really love how it's tri-fold. So there's a contour section with highlighters and contour shades. And on this side, it's 21 Shadows, pretty full-size mirror. I'm gonna take my MAC 224 and my Mikasa brush in E300. Go into the shade Mousse. Create a crease, basically. 
I'm gonna dabble into the control freak shade, which is slightly warmer. Let's keep that on the outer edge. Take a pencil brush and go into the shade Allison. Oh wait, in Midnight. My bad. On this outer corner. And bring it in towards the lash line. Going to Angel. I keep messing up the names because they're like right above each other. This one's Spice. I'm sorry. That would make more sense. It's more of a spice color. Duh. Gonna use the flat brush. Bring it over. Using Allison and Fairy Tale. These shimmer shades right here. Stunning. And I'm gonna go ahead and pack that on to this part of my crease so I can create the illusion that I have a crease here. Boom. Taking your pencil brush again, just kind of like enhance what you just did. Work it on to the corner. Then drag it out. Oopsies, that's too much. If you ever get too much, just get a brush and wipe it off. It's not a big deal at all. So now what I'm going to do is actually pull out this little outer edge and create a wing. I'm just using this flat brush and then bring it in. And I'm just taking the midnight shade and just lining my upper lash line. It's like so crazy how different you look when you do your makeup differently. Taking a queen brush just to like feather out this edge here. Using Spice and Control Freak, I'm gonna go underneath. And Midnight just right on the top. I highly recommend this palette if you're looking for something that's a little bit more versatile. Plus it has this too, so you don't really need to have an extra contour palette. I took this when I was in Mexico and it was really the only palette I used the entire time. Highly recommend It's My Ray Ray. Another YouTuber that I want to support. I'm gonna go ahead and line up my eyes. I haven't been wearing that much black liner lately, so my skills are deteriorating. I'm gonna tight line my waterline on the right side oh, with my Marc Jacobs highliner gel crayon and blocker. So now it's mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash, which I am loving. By the way, if any of you guys are going to Gen Beauty, it would be sweet to meet up. So let me know in the comment section below if you're planning on going. On the right side, I'm going to be using this Demi Wispy Lash from Ardell. I'm gonna do the other side with individuals. This one is from I'm So Picky. They do like individual lashes like this. So they're in clusters of three and you just stick them on. What I like to do is stick maybe like two or so on there. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Skin Twinkle. This is number one, I believe. And I'm just gonna take some on my ring finger and just put that on the tip of my nose and down the bridge. Just gonna take a little bit on my brush. See my brow bone and above. Ooh, 6 plus. Inner corner highlight. But add that blinding inner corner highlight, y'all. You know I'm sorry. Go ahead and just put on some glow mist from Pixie. I'm gonna use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I'm gonna just put some concealer on this side because I'm gonna be doing a lip blur on this side. I'm gonna be using the Vivid Tint Water from Petty Petta Petties. Not sure, but it's really cute. It's like in this little juice box looking thing. And it's in this little bottle. Oh my god, it smells so good. Concentrate the product so it's on the inner side of your... I'm gonna take the Bite Liquified Lip in Demi Glaze. I love this formula. They sent this over to me in a couple different shades. And this is the first time I'm trying this color actually. And this is the, the finished look. Hope you guys like this very creative and fun video. Let me know in the comment sections below if you feel like I nailed the look or not. Nah. And until next time, bye.